In a little under three years, the Altfi brand has emerged as one of the world's leading news and events websites for the alternative finance space, consisting of crowdfunding and peer-to-peer -peer lending. Now we're poised to grow even faster into new geographies such as the US and by expanding our coverage into new fintech niches. As alternative finance grows, so will Altfi. At Altfi, we've already developed multiple revenue streams that we hope will grow as the sector expands. Crucially, I think it's fair to say that we have built a very strong reputation for our editorial coverage, and now the emphasis is on growing our revenues and our brand. We aim to be a high-margin, next-generation media business that pays a good dividend to its loyal shareholders. That, I hope, will make us an attractive target for an established media business. Alternative finance includes two important segments peer-to-peer -peer lending, also known as marketplace lending, and crowdfunding. Both these segments share important characteristics including an online presence, disruptive brands and explosive growth rates. But in truth they're just part of a wider financial revolution which is disrupting traditional finance and replacing it with new financial technology ideas which are built on big data, democratisation and lower costs. Oldfi capitalises on the fintech boom via multiple revenue streams. First off, there's web-based advertising and sponsorship, as well as events currently hosted in London, New York and Sydney, Australia. We'll soon be launching our advisory service, which connects those with capital to those looking to raise money. In terms of new developments, we'll also have our wire service, which will allow PR agencies to place press releases on our news platform. Lastly, there's Altfi Data, our sister company in which we own roughly a third. This is already one of the leading European independent data analytics businesses in the marketplace lending, peer-to-peer -peer lending and equity crowdfunding spaces. We have built a reputation for our extensive and impartial coverage of the UK and Europe and now about one third of our, of our readership comes from the US. The readership opportunity in the US is huge and we believe that the editorial authority that we have established will travel well. The conference has been great. Um, I think what's really cool is the market is at a point where everyone can come together uh, now and start having really good conversations. It's a really well-run event. We're, uh, we're big fans of the guys at Altfi. I think they're doing something unique in this space. I come to Altfi to get a pulse, arena on the pulse of the industry. Without investment, we're not far away from break-even this financial year. But this sector is moving so fast at a global level that we need to invest to capitalise on the opportunities that our brand affords us. That means expanding our footprints in the US as well as investing in editorial content to expand our coverage into related areas of fintech including digital only banks and robo advice to extend our leadership. Our existing competitors are largely US based. It automatically gives them an advantage in terms of scale, which drives through to the bottom line for both web and events. We believe our coverage has greater appeal, so we need to capture this space now while it remains open to us. Boosting our US coverage, building a base in the US, and investing in online marketing will, we hope, have an immediate effect on our revenues, particularly in digital media sales. I'm an angel investor and a director of a number of AIM-listed companies. I've chosen to invest in Altfi, not only because it's a great business, but it's an opportunity to invest in the alternative finance space. I genuinely think we'll be an attractive buyout candidate fairly soon for the right media business. We've got a distinguished team, a strong brand, and a valuable stake in our data business.